So now let's quickly copy this name and search inside of npm packages. So electron updater is nothing but npm package that helps us to automatically update our application, right? If you see its documentation, you will get to see it is supporting Mac OS, Windows and Linux operating systems. So I'm going to install this library first and then we will see how to integrate that in our application. So let's quickly close our application and run command npm i. So while it is being installing, let's quickly have a look into the documentation. Alright, it seems that by the time I'm recording this video, Electron Builder official documentation side is down at the moment. We can't access this. So we are going to use readme file of their official GitHub repository. So this readme file has enough information to get started with auto update. Alright, so show must go on. So I hope by the time you will see this video, uh, the site will be back and you have to refer this link which is mentioned here and this link will provide you enough information to start with electron auto update all right so since i remember all the steps i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and import those installed libraries so first library that we will need to import is auto update electron auto updater so i'm gonna use auto update and let's require electron updater okay and check whether this link is working or not if it is not working let's quickly correct this so the correct module that we need to import is auto updater all right okay so as soon as our application start we'll have to check whether the updates are available or not all right so in order to do that the correct lifecycle method is to put that logic is app dot on ready right so i'm going to use auto updater dot now here we have multiple methods through which we can check for auto update. So we are going to use for updates and notify. All right. And just like this method and tone, we can also subscribe multiple events. So, so if I search for electron auto updater dot on. So here we will get to see there are multiple events we can subscribe. So we can subscribe for update auto update available. All right, and we will put console message here. Well, here is the catch. When we will run our application in built mode, we will not be able to see this console messages. So we'll have to take care of that as well. So in order to solve this problem, I'm going to use another electron library, which is electron logs. Okay. So this library will help us store our all logs in dot log file and we can select and we can select the location of our log file as well so let's quickly install this and let's see some basic examples here so i'm going to use it as it is the only thing that we need to change is file location and we can do that with this logic now we want to keep our log file in the same folder where we have our build. All right. So in that particular case, I'm going to copy this path and let's paste it here. And I'm going to change this. We'll have to create logs folder inside of it. So let's quickly do it. And that's pretty much all we require to do here. All right. So now we can simply use log.info to store our logs in the logs folder and in a separate file. All right. So with this way, even if our application is running in a build mode, we'll get to see those logs, right? So we can, so I'm going to put update available here. Let's try to subscribe some more event and let's put console message here as well. Let's do the same thing and let's subscribe few more events and we will require download progress event as well. We have imported electron updater library and we write a logic to check whether auto updates are available and we write a logic to check if auto updates are available and we have also subscribed to events, right? So now we, we are good to go with this. 
so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye